Kourtney Kardashian is married again. The Kardashian star just got married for like the second or third time to Travis Barker. I'm still kind of unclear about Vegas. But this one was in Italy, so I say we rank it number one on the list. And that means we're gonna talk about all of it. The looks, the ceremony, that veil. I mean, you know it matches Travis's head, right? Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk all about the ceremony. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Courtney's wedding weekend was all about the fashion for me. Dolce and Gabbana hosted the celebration, which means they provided all these looks for the Kardashian Jenners even ahead of a ceremony. Some were not my favorite. Courtney definitely made waves in this black mini dress with a matching veil, for better or for worse indeed. And Travis did have me torn between a Matrix and a Harry Potter joke with this look. Chloe was so close to having me like this, but maybe it's the shoes or something. I don't know, it did not feel Italy. And Kim, I love the hair. I hate the like diaper detailing on these pants. I'm sorry, it's the only way I can think to describe it. Now, most of their looks though, I loved. I mean, Courtney in this red number, 10 out of 10. And Chloe looks like she straight up could be walking the runway in this vintage Dolce & Gabbana gown. Kylie and Kendall were the best dressed for me though. I love this simple floral gown on Kylie. She's so pretty. And Kendall's suit set was very chic. This dress from Kendall for the rehearsal dinner was beautiful too. It kind of went with Courtney's no pants vibe. I'm just realizing how much these people have to pack for like three days. And I feel like I'm being extra when I have to check a bag. Now, when it came down to the day of, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda shocked to see Courtney in a mini dress walking down the aisle. I mean, even if it was a custom Dolce & Gabbana mini dress. I know the dress has gotten a lot of attention online, but I don't think it's as bad as people are saying. It's very in line with her aesthetic as of late. Plus, come on, look at this veil. Oh, I love it. It's embroidered with the Virgin Mary. And like I said before, it matches Travis's head. Now, come on, that's true love. Travis's daughter Alabama, stepdaughter Atiana, and Courtney's daughter Penelope were the sweetest little bridesmaids you ever did see, and Kris Jenner even walked Courtney down the aisle. I thought that was very sweet. After saying I do at La Oliveta, a villa owned by Dolce & Gabbana, the newlyweds celebrated the reception at a nearby 16th century castle, Castello Brown. Did I say that American enough? I'm sorry, I took Latin in high school. Andrea Bocelli and his son Matteo performed their own rendition of Can't Help Falling in Love. I mean, talk about a dream there. And then Cordy changed into this glamorous, kind of sexy second gown to party the night away. Truly a fairy tale ending. Well, that is if the fairy tale included mini dresses and a garter toss. And who's to say it doesn't? We've got all kinds of Kardashian content heading your way, so like and subscribe and let me know what you thought in the comments. Then head over to popculture.com for more of the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>